Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Liz. Today's video I'm very, very excited about. This one was really fun. It's in depth though, so I hope you're comfy and cozy because this one's really all about your dream, that vision that you have for yourself, that one big goal or wish that you have. And we went in depth. I also looked at your specific qualities, gifts or talents that are going to help get you there. Like what's helping this happen? And we also sort of learned a little bit about different blockages or different things that might be happening right now. It was really cool. I feel like the cards gave us a really great look and sort of like a check-in about your goal and how to get there and what's happening with it. So very, very fun. Think of a yes or no question because we've got the pendulum, we've got charms, letters, numbers, and lots, lots of cards today. So uh, tons of detail. Let me know what you think. I do want to show you the groups. I want to show you this very special star that I've been wanting to use in a reading for a while. This sits on my shelf. It's very important to me and I want to explain it to you. Um, but yeah, let me just show you the groups here. So we have four groups to choose from. You've got group one, two, three, and four. So why don't we start with nice deep breath. I know that does help uh, some of you select your group. Let's take a nice deep breath together. That always feels so good. I always forget how much I need to do that until I do it during these intros. But yeah, so I'll show you the four groups uh, really quickly to allow you to choose. If you're listening to this and you feel like mm, it's not quite resonating, that simply means this one's not for you. If it's not resonating, that's okay. Feel free to come back to the beginning and select a different group. Uh, but I hope I hope there is a message for you today. Always listen to your own intuition. Have fun with my readings. Uh, that's the most important part. But first, let me show you each of these groups. So we've got four crystals to choose from. I'll hold them up nice and close to give you a, cl a closer look here. So there we go. Okay, so that's group one. Here we have group two. And we have group three. And finally, group four. Okay, so whichever crystal or number your intuition is drawn to, let me just focus this, then that will be your group for today. So get comfy, make yourself some tea. This one was in-depth. The charms gave us a lot of detail as well as the letters, numbers. You're always really good at finding words. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to the channel um, and like this video. If you like this sort of in-depth video, let me know. I really hope that you enjoy, but I want to show you this star. So this star was sent to me by a friend I made and I've talked about our channel once before, Spirituality by Sush. And Sush, the channel, this star, really did inspire the whole concept of this reading because if you go to Susha's channel, you'll notice there's there's intuitive painting videos, there is candle wax readings, oracle readings, um, Sush has a music channel where like there's just so many interests and passions and talents and her channel is very, very relaxing. I want to mention too, very relaxing, very unintentional ASMR. So I will link the channel below. Definitely go check out the channel, say hello. Uh, but this star was sent to me by Sush and it traveled around the world pretty much twice because there was trouble with delivery. And I was sort of like panicking when it didn't arrive because I felt like really bad that it didn't work out. And this star traveled for a very, very long time. I have no idea where it went, but it found its way back. And uh, it was just really exciting. So this star to me just represents, you know, hope and creativity and passion and it's just beautiful it sits on my shelf i see it every single day and i just love it so much so this is uh part of the intuitive painting videos that you can check out so definitely head over there say hello um and yeah thank you so much sush for sharing that with me 
and for inspiring today's video. What was really cool is the deck that I chose, I unintentionally chose something called the Star Spinner Tarot. I was just drawn to this one. I haven't used it in a while. And I kept noticing throughout the reading, there's lots of stars. And I, I made the connection, I think in group one, I was like, oh yeah, Star Spinner Tarot. So there's lots of stars in this deck. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's reading. Let me know what you think, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I do have a Patreon. If you want to check out my Patreon, I'll link it down below. I upload once a week and it's just sort of cozy little mini readings every week. Uh, so yeah, you can check that out there if you'd like. But yeah, let's jump into it. Let's see what's going on with your goal, with your dream. We'll start with group number one. Hello group one. If you chose the first crystal, then this is your message about pursuing your goals, pursuing your dreams. Oh, okay. That's... <laughs> A lot more than I was expecting. I do want to get a lot here because I want to know what's happening with your goal. Now this could be creative, this could have to do with career, it could have to do with a passion of yours, a goal that you had set for this year. Whenever you're watching, this is a timeless reading. And also the unique gifts and qualities that you have that are going to help help you get there. So first let's look at what's happening with the goal. You've got Ace of Wands, you've got Temperance, You've got the Page of Coins. You've got the Six of Cups. You've got the Nine of Pentacles. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. The World. Three of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, so lots of cards wanted to pop out today. All right, now as far as your goal goes, I'm, I'm getting a little bit about how it's going so far. So I definitely feel like you are at the early stages of a new uh, chapter or goal, okay? But I'm getting directly that your previous experience is going to help you with whatever you're doing. So whether or not you know it, you have some sort of experience or knowledge, wisdom right now about, about that you've already like you've already gained, you've already learned, you've already experienced, that's going to help you with this. So I don't know if you're aware of that. You might not have linked the two. Like you could have been doing something completely different and think that there's no connection between what you're working on now and then what you did previously. But I'm seeing that there is a huge connection. And I also see, I see like a little bit of a feeling of kind of like maybe wondering where this is going. But here's the thing. I see this, I see this going in a direction that you, you can't even imagine <laughs> right now. Like it's so, it feels very early on in, in whatever this is. Okay, so I feel like it's maybe hard to see right now, or maybe this is something you just sort of conceived. So it's just a new idea. And the thing is, because you've got like the Ace of Wands here. I love this. I love this card so much. But the thing with the Ace of Wands, and I love the star connection there, but the thing with the Ace of Wands is we have these moments, and if we don't do anything with it, you know, it, it might just sort of evaporate, right? Because it's ideas, it's passion, it's like that little light of a match and sometimes they they take off and turn into something and sometimes they don't just like if we plant a seed sometimes they they germinate and other times you know they won't so that's kind of what i'm getting here is this feeling of even with your page of pentacles i feel like you've planted a seed and it's too early to tell where this is going but i'm getting almost like this flash forward of you very successful with this and kind of putting the puzzle pieces together of like all of your experience that you didn't think was connected. Like everything for you, I think weaves together in a really interesting way. The other thing I'm mentioning, or wanna mention, sorry, um, is I think you're going to, this is going to, whatever you're, whatever you're doing right now is expanding your world. And I, I specifically think socially. So, you know, so for, I'll just use me as an example. So I am, I wouldn't consider myself necessarily an introvert, but I'm a homebody and I always like just being at home. 
it's my first choice. I just want to be at home. But I know that sometimes getting out and meeting people and doing different things and attending different events can be really helpful. Networking is the kind of thing, but in a fun way specifically for you. I think whatever you're doing now, you seem to be meeting new people uh, that have similar goals and ideas. And the thing I want to mention to you too, goal setting, look at that. Wow. Yeah, you, you're on track here. You're on track, but I don't know that you know it. It's sort of like I'm noticing too the three arrows here with the three of cups that's interesting but yeah I just feel like you're going to have this moment where you're like oh my gosh all of that experience led to this in a weird way you know and maybe it's just that previous experience really helped you learn about people and talking with people and communication you know that is going to have a benefit like something like that uh, the other thing too is your experience. Like I'm really noticing the owl with this Nine of Pentacles, and the person sort of looks humble, like they're 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 looking down, but the owl looks very very confident. I feel like this is the part of you that's like, yes, I may be new at this right now. Like this is very this is very like new stages of something I'm getting, and uh, you're just sort of trying to figure out what works. But you've you've got more. Like you're more on target than maybe you're giving yourself credit for right now. So this could just be encouragement to keep going because you're going to see change. You're going to see how everything links together. And I also think that whatever you're doing now is leading to opportunities. Again, opportunities like social opportunities, possible even travel. But just in general, there's a feeling of like excitement and new opportunities coming up. So I don't know what it is that you're doing, but travel definitely could be part of it. Uh, you might already know that. You might be aware of it. The other thing I want to mention too is whatever this is that you're pursuing is going to be something it could be self-employment for a lot of you, okay? So, but take what resonates, you know? It could be self-employment for a lot of you. But the thing is, this is something that you like to do. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes being self-employed means you're working, you know, 60 hours to avoid, you know, having to work less time but doing something, you know, that you don't necessarily like as much or work for someone. Really, it depends on depends on you and what you, what you want to do. But that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Like, you're enjoying putting this work in. And I feel like you're, what I feel, you're going to get this like confidence boost. It's almost like this person is looking back at the people, the people that are watching them and, and, and kind of saying like, see, I knew I could do this, like that kind of thing. So let's see what else we have here for you. This is really interesting. But yeah, I definitely see possible travel, but just expansion of your world. Like your world is growing in so many different ways, experiences, potential travel, your social circle. Uh, your knowledge, like your whole world is expanding. I'm just going to put this back and try again because that was quite a few. So group one, what is happening with group one's goals? I am worthy. Okay, this is extremely important. You know, this expression sort of makes me think this person feels some sort of guilt for their what they've earned, what they've created. Maybe you're experiencing a little bit of guilt about an opportunity or or something you're pursuing, something you're asking the universe for. You might be feeling, you know, well, why should I pursue that? You know, what 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 do I have to offer? But this I keep going back to this image. It's sort of a feeling of like, yeah, I can I can do this and I do deserve this and I have the skills necessary to get me to where I want. Now I am worthy. This is a few different things. So like this, this is asking for you to let go of guilt when it comes to succeeding. Now, you might have guilt when it comes to your friends, you know, when you're pursuing something or when something good, like, are you someone when something good happens, you feel guilt before excitement? I would definitely just encourage you to be aware of that. I experience that sometimes, the feeling of like, oh no, like, like you're, when something good happens, you almost want to keep it to yourself. Uh, but you're allowed to celebrate. You're allowed to experience success. And the thing with you is you're not asking for this success out of nowhere. You are experienced. You've got a great idea or a great concept. You're also willing to learn. I see you right now as just very willing to just soak up information. I'm seeing you very, you know, go with the flow right now. You seem to be approaching this in a really balanced way. But you have experience, so don't forget that part. Don't forget the hard work and the experience that you put in. So when you do succeed, no, no, 
it's because I worked for it. It's because I did it. It's because I have this gift or I have this talent. Uh, banishment. Okay, yeah. So this is this card popped out I think two weeks ago in the reading I did, um, in regards to something actually kind of similar. But you know what? There's something you need to sort of uh, kind of stand your ground with. It says you have the power to banish negative energy and unwanted problems. You seem to me, and this is one of the gifts I think that's going to help you reach this goal. You seem to me as some to be somebody who is a problem solver. Okay, I see you as a problem solver. I see you as someone who doesn't like to just sort of throw their hands up and think, okay, oh, well, you know what? I give up. I quit. I don't see you as someone who likes to quit. You don't quit very easy. Uh, so, or that's in you. Like that, that is one of the things about you that I think you might even find moving forward is I think you, you have this, this, what's the word, this drive inside of you that you're going to get there regardless. So I think ban banishment is just sort of talking about, you know, you, you, I think you're staying on track and anything that is, is not supporting this goal or this, this energy, you're able to sort of just kind of shut it out here. So group one, what's happening with group one's Goal, listen, in stillness, you meet your true self. I feel like this is what you're currently doing, to be honest. I feel like you recently have been getting different ideas and inspirations. Sorry, let me just close this cover. It's... Sorry if you could hear that. But yeah, I feel like you've been getting different ideas. You're really paying attention to, well, yourself right now, your inner wisdom, your ideas, your passion. You're very in tune right now. And what's so interesting with the temperance card, the page of coins, the image there, this feels like calm determination. So it's not, I don't know how many kinds of determination there are, but this feels like, uh, so imagining with this arrow, like someone breathing in and out, focusing, like this is a calm, steady energy that I'm getting for you. This is very steady. It's early and new but I think you're maybe surprising yourself with like or you will surprise yourself with like how things are moving along and how you're catching on and things are whatever this is you seem to have a natural gift for it so I think you're on the right track here group one see oh look at that look at the arrow I, to me that represents like the steadiness direction and look at all look at those wands there everything's going to sort of happen at once and what I'm reading this as is like something's going to happen where it's going to be like boom 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 there could be three things that happen one after the other that just sort of line up with the work that you put in so things just seem to be whatever's going on right now you you've got the right direction okay you, you seem to be very like inwardly focused with banishment this is important because whatever this is you might be having people say like hey why are you doing that why are you putting so much time into that oh my gosh i'll never you'll never be able to do that in this time or whatever this is like this could I could go on for days <laughs> thinking of examples but you just seem to be very inwardly focused maybe even a little bit uh selective with who you're sharing your your ideas with in a certain way overall I see you as pretty open right now um so maybe it's just more so that you're not letting things get to you quite as much but whatever you're doing <laughs> is working you also seem to be very in tune with what you are in control of versus what you're not in control of. So that with the temperance energy is helping you go with the flow, which is then helping you be more adaptable, which is helping you adapt to change and little bumps along the way. You're figuring things out. This is great. This is coming through very, 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 very clearly for you. And I definitely want to see what's coming up with charms. But first, I want to ask a little bit more about what your goals are or not your well I want to ask a little bit more about what your your unique talents are okay so I'm already getting a lot here I've already mentioned quite a few but I want to get a little bit more so I'll just well, we'll use this one we'll use the field tarot so what are group one's additional talents and gifts that are going to have so a few things I already saw Oh, you got, look at that. You've got the 
nine of uh, coins twice. One moment, one flew over here. Ah, so five of swords flew across the room. Okay, so in this keyword they've chosen is defeat. I think the reason it flew across the room is you're, 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 you're sort of letting go of, because the five of swords would talk to me in this situation about like that feeling of, is there enough space for me? Like feeling defeated, feeling, feeling defeated when something doesn't maybe work out how you anticipated. So because it flew across the room and I'm asking specifically, what are the things that are going to help you with this? Like what are the gifts and qualities? I feel like this goes back to what I was saying. You don't, you don't take defeat. Like you, you will make it work. Even if it changes, even if you adapt or change, you you make things work. You also have eight of discs. Look at that. You've got repeat cards here. So this is just confirming. You've got the nine of discs twice. And the word they've used here is culmination. You've also got eight of eight of pentacles twice. So you've got doubles here. So again, that's just sort of you know confirming for me that you you have the dedication and that and that I'm seeing that. You're not like you're not, no, no one's going to stand in your way with this. You, no one is going to stand in your way with this. I think maybe you've experienced that too many times where you've maybe t taken a step back um, or felt like, oh no, I don't deserve. Now you're like, no, I deserve this. I have the experience, I've got the knowledge and I'm, I'm doing this. You also have queen of cups, intuition. So your intuition is something that's going to help you pursue this goal. Uh, I love just like the the confidence of this card. So your intuition, I, I like that it has the keyword there. Your intuition, your creativity, uh, your ability to adapt. I find you to be very adaptable. So when something happens, and this is, this is probably one of the most important things, is the ability to adapt because nothing will ever look how we plan. I, I Maybe there's those odd occasions where that could happen, but I think if you ask most people that are, that are where you would like to be or doing something you'd like to do it wasn't just like a you know line straight there it you know there was bumps so your ability to be adaptable and go with the flow is is very important here and that's what's going to get you where you want to be and even though you seem to be sort of early with this and i didn't even talk about this one i'll go back to this but even though this is kind of new you're going to breeze right through this. Now, see the bigger picture. I think that's part of what's helping you is you're able to, or the cards are encouraging you to look at the big picture here. Not one month, not, you know, three months or this next few weeks, a year, a real chunk of time. And you know that the little steps add up to big results. So group one, if you chose this group, I feel like you're on a really great track. I feel like you know a lot of this or you're feeling a lot of it already. So I would just keep do, keep doing what you're doing because you seem to be on a really, really great track. You're adaptable. You're dedicated. You've got the experience and the knowledge, the independence. You, you've got this, this card really makes me feel like you've you're on you're on track here. This is this is working out. Uh, the other thing I really noticed in your reading is just how much your world's going to expand, and how amazing it can be that one idea, one moment, one glimmer of inspiration can turn, it can change your whole life. So let's take a look at your charms and see what's going on. Your reading came through very clearly, and I don't know who's giving me those messages, but whoever it is is very supporting, supportive of you. Sometimes I. This is the thing with readings, and I've said this before, sometimes I need to hear certain things. So I'll finish a reading and I don't remember anything that I've said. So I don't know how it works. I really don't, but some I feel as though someone's sending you this message. is there because to me it's like the ability to laugh when things you know like laugh laugh at yourself sometimes that's what I think important especially when you're learning something or if you're new at something like not taking something too seriously not taking ourselves too seriously you've got a two seven and a one uh, you've also got a six here an Aquarius might help you okay Aquarius might have an answer um 
you know what's funny is this answer isn't something all that it is this is coming through clearly all it is is something that's expanding something you already know so it's expanding on knowledge that you're already like you already have a lot of experience and direction with this someone's coming in and giving you a little bit of oh it's interesting either a lesson or another opportunity or another like something else a choice possibly okay Let's see what else we have. I love this because this reminds me of Two of Wands. It looks like a little world. So you have the world card. You've got gentle. I love that because I'm feeling like through this situation with laugh, you're being, I'll just flip these over for you, but you're being very gentle with yourself throughout this learning because again, I keep feeling like this is still early phases of something. I also think you're dealing with somebody who is doing what you're doing and being very like boastful about it and sort of uh, suggesting that they're the best at it or, you know, and you're sort of calmly, quietly just doing your own thing and uh, you don't feel the need to sort of to, to do that. But I think there's going to be an interesting moment with that dynamic. I don't know really what's going to happen with that, but uh, it's very interesting. Okay, so it's complicated, emotionally unavailable. So emotionally unavailable, there could be someone you're dealing with. With the banishment card, this is usually a clue that you're dealing with some sort of like negativity or something. So in a reading like this, I would just assume that it's maybe somebody saying something discouraging or saying, you know, making a situation complicated even you know that could be what it is here you got the word slim chance so <laughs> that kind of makes me think like you know you can do it despite the odds or you know that with enough practice enough time something that seems very challenging you can do it and this too i noticed i think in the last reading i hadn't noticed before it's a surfboard so with that i think of like waiting for the right moment too you've got the word found so there's something you're finding i love i love that next to the wheel here because the wheel this could be like wheel of fortune uh this also to me represents like being behind the wheel like you and with you I think I even mentioned it. There's a feeling of like you only can control what you do. You can't control what other people do or think or say or. So I think you're, you're maybe dealing with a situation like that, uh, and I think you're you're sort of breezing right past it. You seem very optimistic and quite positive about this. So that's really good. Very busy too. I feel like this year, the next few months, you're very very busy. You've got a lot going on. Definitely the message to protect your energy here. Um, I feel like these comments aren't even like, they're kind of just, with this it's making me think they're just like little pokey comments, like little, little jabs, little, you know. But again, it, it, it feels like something you're doing now, you're not really letting it, you're just maybe, or maybe you're just being more careful with like who you let into these goals and dreams. That could be part of it as well. Someone's getting ready to communicate with you. There is a link to love with your goal. Okay. So you know how things in life sometimes connect. There is a link to your romantic life. I kind of want to find out what it is. So let me just get romance angels. So yeah, some things some, sometimes in life just connect. Uh, so I'm seeing a bit of a connection here. Group. For one of you, uh, even, it could be that one person has a problem with you pursuing your goals, like a romantic partner, and then someone else is more supportive of Let's find out group one what's happening with love let your friends help you oh well, we saw that a little bit with the three of cups and i see that like i feel <laughs> i 
<laughs> I like that expression, the little angel's like, um, look. So I'm wondering if this letter, someone's going to share something with you that you're maybe not aware of. It could be in regards to someone's feelings because I've never noticed that angel's expression. It's like, uh, look at this. I don't know. That's really interesting. So let's look at letters here and have fun with the letters. Think initials, names. Um, here, let me hold this up here. So you've got E E V V N S E O I A M Q, another E, Q A L R S and O. So whatever you see, let me know. You're always the best at putting together so yeah i wonder if our friend's going to like because i'm feeling a connection to love maybe let's get one more before we go and then we'll we'll do your pendulum but i'm just curious the roller skate too i think of just like when you first start something it's maybe not so smooth and then you build momentum and practice and then eventually you're doing tricks and different things on the roller skate so this one flipped over. Situation is calling for you to have faith. So I'm wondering what this is. The situation's asking for you to have faith. You've also got a friendship connection. Could be, you know, I said three events are linked. So three events in your life are linked. So it could be that, you know, this thing happens with your goal and you, you make this friend and then they introduce you to someone romantically, just as an example, you know, let's look at your pendulum. That's yeah, there. That's interesting. Okay. So think of a yes or no question. For sure. Wow. That's a confident pendulum. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe and all of that. That really does help the channel. Uh, a lot so i appreciate you so much i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next Hello. time group two of you chose the second crystal and this is your message about your goals your dreams you know whatever goal you have this year it could be career it could be a passion that you're pursuing it could have to do with a personal goal whatever it is i want to find out some information sort of check in with the cards about how things are going and i also want to know about your unique qualities and gifts and talents that are going to help get you there so sort of see if the cards have any suggestions about what to what to focus on let's see what's going on um two what's happening with group two's goals let's take those two let's see what we have okay so you've got the queen of swords you have the four of wands you've got the two of swords you've got the king of cups the king of swords and then you've got the Nine of Cups. Interesting combination here. Okay. So I feel like you are currently fighting your head and your heart with something. That's what's coming through very clearly. So there's a bit of a internal battle going on uh, when it comes to your goals about pursuing something like it could be just something you're thinking, okay, this is the logical choice, and then your heart's telling you something else, or it could be something like you are thinking one thing, but you've got this this creative talent or something you'd like to pursue. I definitely want to get more info, but that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a bit of a a bit of a fight between two sides or your or a decision, you know, that you're trying to pursue. So it could even be a choice between two different jobs. But what I'm seeing here, and I don't know how this is going to unfold, but I'm seeing that you can have both. So it'll be different situations for each of you, of course. And But I just see, I see you feeling more decisive soon, or, or I feel like you're approaching this differently now. You're approaching this decision a little bit different. And I, I just see overall fulfillment for you. We've got the Nine of Cups, so that's like the wish card. And uh, there's a great deal of balance here, both with the dancer here but the the four of wands being here it's like this feeling of 
like support with your goals. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like you won't have to choose. It might be that you're focusing on one thing first and something else is following later, but I, I see you being able to pursue both. So let's just see what's going on here. Group two. Yeah, I'm just seeing a little bit of, okay, your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. So I feel like some guidance is coming in. I'm feeling strongly for you, group two, like there's more pieces to the puzzle that haven't presented themselves that might help with clarity or might help sort of um, make this a little bit clearer. I feel like there's missing information. So I want to ask the cards as much as we can, but the lighthouse guides you home to the stars. I feel like, so what I'm thinking of with a lighthouse now, I feel like something Because a lighthouse, when I think of a lighthouse, it's like, it's guiding us, right? It's guiding us. It's taking care of us. It's sort of um, keeping us safe in a certain way. Let's see. Because it's guiding the ship away from where, you know, the rocks are. Your words create worlds. Okay. Let's get... I'm going to put this all together. I just I just want as much detail as possible. Group two, what's going on with this decision? Big changes. Yeah, so big changes are on their way in. I see you feeling like I feel like right now something is causing... Like it's really soaking up a lot of your focus and I feel like it's leaving you sort of feeling stuck. But a change is coming in that's going to help help make this more clear. Big change. I still feel like I'm missing something. Let me ask the tarot. Sorry, I just gotta piece this together here. Group two. Your lighthouse guides you home. Your words create worlds. And I'm seeing that with the queen of swords. Page of Wands. I'm kind of feeling like you're talking yourself out of something. Like you're talking yourself out of a passion. You're talking yourself out of something that's making you happy. So there is a feeling I keep sort of getting this, this energy of like you can have both. You can have both. And Page of Wands, I really do see you. Like I see for you... Maybe it's been that you haven't really pursued creative, you know, things in your life or, th or, or this is the first time, like this is, this could be something new for you, which is a bit of a theme today as far as like a new passion or something you're, you're interested in, something you'd like to start uh, exploring. So I feel like that is the case for you, but there, I don't know, I don't know why there's this inner conflict. So there must be something causing you to feel this way. of cups group two the moon six of wands i'm just seeing like a big green light so i don't know what's causing this inner conflict It seems to, it, it's sort of like a, uh, I wonder if it's like a self-sabotage type thing with your words create worlds, like something you're communicating or thinking or repeating. But I still feel like there's something you haven't realized yet. There's some more information coming in. Let me just ask directly, what is... What are we missing here? What is the information coming in? Because I feel like something's happening that's sort of like giving you almost permission to pursue this. Five of Cups. What is changing? Five of Cups. 
I'm wondering, there's, I'm wondering if this is like related to sort of fear of change. I'm not getting so much about like fear necessarily, like nine of swords fear, but just more so like there's some sort of change that would be changing the stability of something but it could be a really great success. So, well, we've got the moon there too that could bring in a bit of the fear. But I feel like you feel like you feel drawn to something. There's this there's this inner calling. Your lighthouse guides you home. It's like you've been guided towards something. You're feeling called towards something. Something has lit a match in you, an interest, uh, and you're sort of sensing this idea of change and I think it's challenging part of you that's like craving stability or reliability something has become reliable something has become stable um so there's a feeling of like okay if i change this if i add this in this is coming together now i i think this is clear now so it's a sort of feeling of like if i add this in if i pursue this goal you know what if i lose this stability what if i lose this this feeling of balance but i'm getting like green light like this could be a success you can have both you can have both is what I keep getting. Your words create worlds. It's like, it's kind of a feeling that you're talking yourself out of something. And with, this sort of reminds me a little bit of like Peter Pan actually. So there's sort of this feeling of, oh, you know what this is? It's kind of like, just with the analogy of Peter Pan, it's like your adult brain, right? Because sometimes we talk ourselves out of like following our dreams and no, that's not logical. So you might be like, and this could turn into like something good here because I feel like you're a very logical person. You think things through, you're very organized. You don't like when things are unpredictable. You're likely the person that people go to to solve problems and get things nice and orderly. I bet you, you are, I bet you, you are organized in your own way. Sometimes I say that and people might think, oh, I'm not organized, but you probably do have a certain way of doing things that works for you and you like to stick to that. This is all coming together. I feel like you're not, you don't enjoy unpredictability. You don't enjoy the unknown, but you're still feeling guided in a certain direction. Oh, this is an interesting uh, fool here. And you've got the page of cups here. Yeah, this is very new for you and I feel like this openness, this unpredictability is just, is just completely new. And I, but I think it, it's going to be a beautiful thing. And you've got the fool here. So it's sort of like diving into this. I really see you diving into a passion, but what I think the cards are here to say is that it doesn't have to be one or the other. You can pursue both because you've got the king of swords here. You've got the king of cups. Uh, so I really do see you pursuing what you feel emotionally fulfilled by and then also what you feel you know that that stability that feeling of reliability and so I still feel like something is coming in but I do think like you're talking yourself out of something you're talking yourself out of and maybe it's just that you need more research I think this might help you uh, from what I'm getting for you I feel like you're very like a very logical person I feel like it really helps you to you like to know what's ahead and I think that's why change might be a difficult thing because there's this sort of uh, fear of like disappointment, fear of regret here, you know? But we never really know what's going to happen and everyone experiences regret about something. So like, for you, I'm getting, it doesn't have to be a drastic thing. Like it doesn't, because I keep getting this message that you can have both, you can have the best of both worlds, there's something that might present itself, an opportunity, an opening, um, an idea that you'll be able to pursue. What I think this boils down to is uh, just unpredictability, not enjoying unpredictability. You like when things are, are predictable and, and, and the way that you know they're going to go and very organized. Okay, yeah, I think, so something has become, I think, repetitive or just kind of like, hmm, I want, I'm craving something more. You're, you may, you're likely very proud of what you've pursued or the hard work that you've put in, but there's like, it seems to me like you're craving some excitement. You're craving some fire energy, some passion, um, you know, some adventure. And I think that's what's on its way. But I think there's this feeling I keep getting, you go back to, it's like, no, like 
oh, the fire, the candle just went out. It's like a feeling of when something gets exciting, it's like this, there's this, there's this fear that bubbles up with the moon here. But I think that this unknown could bring a lot of abundance for you. It could bring a lot of rapid change, big changes. And potential connections too. It's so interesting. There's such a strong connection to love today. So I'm going to get romance angels. Now, two of cups could of course be business partnerships, friends. It could be something that you just really love. And I think for you, it likely is something that you just feel very connected to. I think you haven't had enough time to, to be creative. I'm, I'm kind of feeling like you had to grow up early too. Because the, the Peter Pan reference, like there's a feeling of I had, you had a lot of responsibility early on, uh, or you took on a lot of responsibility. You know, maybe you felt like you missed out on some fun times because you had a lot of responsibility and you had maybe a job very early or something like that. Like there's everyone's situation is going to be very different, but I'm wondering if like, and I feel like too, what I'm getting for you is there's this feeling of the support of others. Like you've always worked hard. People have always acknowledged that. And maybe you feel like pursuing something creative on the side even, or, or pursuing this passion of yours, you know, maybe you feel like people won't be as proud of you for it, but that like, I'm seeing so much bravery for you facing fears, facing the unknown. And I think it really does boil down to the unknown. You, you like predictability. And I think it's because you had to be responsible for so, like you've been responsible your whole life but now i think you're doing something for yourself it's interesting how this came together here okay calling in your soulmate so i'm what i'm so this is so interesting it feels like once you're tapped into this energy you're 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 really you're tapping into not only just your creative energy but your emotional side because again there's this like fight between logic and emotion passion and predictability and orderliness there's this fight happening internally in you so i think by tapping into this exploring something that you just want to do just because you love it is for a few of you actually going to help bring you closer to someone so it could even be like you meet someone through something like you you start doing that thing that you've been wanting to do or pursuing that goal and then you meet someone because there is the possibility of like love here you've got the page of cups as well two of cups group two i am good enough yeah i wonder if like oh this is intense so i feel like I, I'm really getting that responsibility sense. Like you've, and you, it could be even at work. Like you've just got a, you've got a, the kind of job that there's a lot of responsibility put on you. A lot of people counting on you, you know, and when something, maybe like you put so much pressure on yourself and so much responsibility on yourself that when something maybe like you're afraid of, of letting people down essentially, But this card is saying, like, you're good enough. There's a definite strong feeling of perfectionism keeping you stuck. It's like, it's got to be, it's got to fit. It's got to fit here. But the cards are saying you've got so much to offer here. And just because you're pursuing something else or, or you know, taking some chances, having some fun, there's something, look at the, this looks like Peter Pan too. That's so funny that that was, it was coming in. Okay. So, wow. It, it honestly, this feels like your inner child fighting with your adult responsible self. And with your good enough, it feels like maybe, sorry, I'm getting so many cards. I don't know where to put this, but it, with your good enough, it feels like, and I hope this wasn't the case, but like maybe a teacher, you know, straight A's or your parents, you know, like very like a lot of pressure so i think what this message is saying is like you're embracing this more light-hearted fun adventurous carefree open creative kind of 
kind of thing here, like kind of uh, energy. And maybe for a few of you, it's, it is that you're making a change in career or you're, um, it doesn't even have to mean you're leaving a particular job, right? Always listen to your intuition, but maybe you're making a change. Maybe you're changing responsibilities or lightening responsibilities. Maybe if you're a business owner, you're deciding to, you know, bring someone on to help you. Maybe you're, you're uh, changing your schedule to pursue something. Maybe you're just giving yourself permission to have some fun and, and allow like, allow and you could still because if you're if you're the kind of like orderly person who enjoys schedules and and graphs and all of that schedule it in what is this is it, is it a class you want to take is it a course you want to take is it a creative goal you want to pursue because I feel like you've got so much creativity there's so much that you want to express there's so much you want to express here let's see what monology has to add sorry I'm getting lots of cards so they're sort of over here. Group two. I'm happy I uh, stuck with this because it's so clear to me now. Go deeper. Look at that. Perfect. Go deeper. So something, and I think you've been feeling it for a while. You've been feeling it for a while. It's just something you've been wanting to get started or try or do. You're feeling called to it. And go deeper, you know, maybe this is something you're exploring, maybe you're, you're, you could be talking to someone about it, you could be really just even going deep with yourself and like, you know, doing a lot of thinking, a lot of like exploration, a lot of reflection. Reveal what needs to be seen. Okay, this is an interesting card. So because I'm getting so much of like fear in regards to like maybe judgment, okay? Maybe this is something you just sort of pursue with just those you trust right now. Maybe, you, maybe you're just getting something started. This does seem like with your, your two pages, it seems like just the, the very, it's like the seed of something. So maybe you're feeling like, oh, if I tell everyone I'm doing this, or if I tell everyone I'm pursuing this, or I'm learning this, or taking this course, or starting this job, what are they going to think? Maybe you don't have to announce it if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable. Maybe you just reveal what needs to be seen. And, I, and you could be a Scorpio. You've got two Scorpio cards here. And Scorpios, I'm a Scorpio. Uh, very, just very, very uh, secretive. Very, and, and this is like, you're really, I think, exploring your emotions deeper than you have in a long time. Because there's like this feeling of like, very cerebral, like you're, you're just very in your mind, you're, you're a thinker. But you've always had this creativity and this fun and this passion inside you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Look at this. This is exactly it. So create and progress. This is you really just embracing and look at the paint everywhere. Look at the paint all over them. This is like embracing that. I know there's probably a movie analogy I could use here, like embracing the messiness, embracing like, again, it all goes back to the inner child fighting this adult version of you. Color outside the lines, make a mess, you know, Oh, this is so amazing. So I really do feel like you are exploring your creativity. I feel like it all goes back to that. Time to move on. So um, I'm wondering if there is like an experience where you expressed yourself creatively or you pursued something creative and you were made to feel silly or you felt silly. When I first started YouTube, I felt like I literally had to have my boyfriend leave the house to record. I couldn't talk into the camera because I felt silly. Anytime I've ever, I've ever done like a workout video, I feel ridiculous. Um, so just a small example, this could be something quite a bit more significant for you, but there seems to be like, it's time, to, it's time, you know, it's time to move past this point. And, and, and the other thing too, with this is I feel like you are having this realization of like, if not now, when, like, when am I going to allow myself to have some fun, pursue this? Maybe it's painting. 
you know, maybe it's art, maybe it's flipping furniture, maybe it's just something creative, like, maybe it's, I don't know, roller skating, maybe it's, I'm trying to think of things, candle making, stained glass creating, maybe it's starting an Etsy shop, maybe it's starting a YouTube channel, maybe it's creating a podcast or a, or a blog. Maybe it's starting music, it's taking guitar lessons or piano lessons. Maybe you're joining like a club, like a local club that does different like things or like I, I could go on and on and on, but it's sort of a feeling of like, you know, we get one life, let me pursue what I wanna pursue and you can still keep the things that, it just might change a little bit. Okay, let me see here what other cards I have. I feel like I'm missing. Okay, actually I wanna ask this deck here. What qualities does group two have that helps them pursue this goal or make this goal a reality? Because I already know that you are very smart, very intelligent, very independent. You're decisive. I see you as confident. I see you as excellent with communication. Maybe it's writing, by the way, that you're interested in. But I see you excellent with communication, writing, reading, uh, your words. You're an excellent problem solver. You're probably very good at puzzles, riddles, Sudoku puzzles, like the daily, uh, what's that one my mom does, Wordle, um, that kind of thing. Like you're sharp. You are sharp. You know, so we already know that though, but let's find out what else is coming through. So movement. Yeah, you are. Well, that's an interesting one to come up actually. This creativity is in you. Like you're much better at adapting to change than you give yourself credit for. Movement. Like you're more adaptable than you're thinking. Maybe you're just not seeing it or maybe just maybe you just haven't liked change in general. You're very adaptable. I feel like you're also like when a problem comes up, you're in problem solving mode. So I, I said this earlier too. I feel like people come to you. It's like, this isn't working. What do I do? Or People probably come to you for advice a lot. I feel like too, I'm getting this strong sense that you uh, are fiercely defensive of people you love and subjects that you are passionate about. Uh, politics, uh, you know, your stance on things. I feel like you're very, very, very passionate about those things. Group two, what else is going to help group two? reach their goal and then we'll do the pendulum fulfillment look at that so i love that actually with your nine of cups too so you uh you already have what it takes and i think i'm getting the feeling like you have either more people coming in that are going to be supportive of this so it could be that you're joining like uh, an art class or something and you're going to meet someone through there but i feel like you're not you're not going to let anyone down by doing something that you love by doing something that's fulfilling this is your life and i feel like you've always taken on so much responsibility but right now fulfillment is important all types of fulfillment creative fulfillment emotional fulfillment you know maybe it's been that you've prioritized work for so long and you're really wanting to get out there and date and maybe meet a soulmate maybe that's important to you now and that's okay you know, our priorities change and it doesn't mean that the things that you prioritize aren't no, you know, any, important to you anymore. They still are. I see that. But I do see a, a little bit of a fight happening between the two sides of your brain and the inner child versus the responsible one. But you can have both. You can be both. And I think you're going to find out a way to, to do that. I want to get just... I just wanted to clean up the room. What's this? Defeat. Oh, interesting. Group one had the same one for the same question. You're, and for you, I'm really feeling it strongly. Uh, in, a, in a certain way, it's like you will stand up for what you believe in, no matter what. Like you will defend. I feel like you will defend the people you love and your friends before anyone. Like, it, and, and that might even include maybe sometimes people have mistreated you and you've you've maybe you know, it hasn't affected you as much. But if someone crosses, someone you love, oh, watch out. I feel like you're very, uh, you would have made a good detective. <laughs> okay, that's coming through. I feel like 
you're probably very good at searching things online like like finding it in front like I just feel like you you would have you're a natural detective for sure let's get you some charms think of the yes or no question and I'll get you letters too and numbers With the star that fell out here yeah i see you sort of in this process of like very deep deep reflection some of you want to pursue makeup makeup artistry uh or maybe like photography uh you know anything involving makeup is coming up here you've got a leo here as well as a libra it could be you or somebody you're dealing with let's get you some numbers One and four. We'll get you. Uh, I'll do your letters at the end with the pendulum just because I don't want to move this stuff too much. Okay. So here's the thing. Early on in the reading, I felt like I was missing something. Something is coming in and now I see what it is because you had the lighthouse message and you have like this, for instance, this message in a bottle, something is floating in. So I don't know if it's just going to be like the right time, right place, opportunity, or someone's like, hey, I'm doing this. Do you want to try it? And then that's your sort of like window to join this or do this or pursue this. You also have the star here. Lots of stars today. This this deck has a lot of stars, which I think is really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. But then you've got like this, that, you've got that five of cups. You've got this ghost here. So there's definite like fears, but it seems connected to the past. It seems connected to like something that didn't go well or maybe something someone said or or maybe it was a, a significant other at the time that like, oh, why would you want to do that? You're not good at that. And they said it out of jealousy or they said it out of insecurity or, or they said it just because they were a jerk. I don't know. Sometimes people just say things just just because they get a thrill out of being mean. It's, you know, so I, I don't know. But because you had the time to move on, like there's something, there's something that's like holding you back that the cards are saying no more. You're not giving this any more power. You're breaking free from this. I feel like the alert is goes into like this feeling of responsibility. Like you're always on alert. Um, heads up too. It's like you've always got your head sort of, you know, aware of what's going on. And, you know, you, you could be a parent too. A lot of this could come just from like, so much responsibility you know it could it could be that too because we know like as a parent you i don't know how you i don't know how you do it i really don't i don't have children and i see what people in my life with children like you know it's a lot of work but you know i think if you were to if you were to go forward and ask your children in the future if it was important to them that you pursue your goals as well and make time for yourself, I, I bet you they'll say yes. You know, um, your, your, I just heard like, like your creativity, your, your passions matter too. So it could just be a matter of like shuffling some things around, asking for some more help, not taking on everything yourself. Okay, you got the scissors again. Uh, I think that connects to the one card that's typically just about like something we're cutting out, we're pruning, we're doing, you know, we're doing a little bit of like elimination of uh, maybe some responsibilities, right? Maybe some responsibilities you can maybe think, okay, well, what can I, what can I take out here, right? We've, we've got the responsibilities that we have every day, you know, but then there's maybe some things we take on additional things that maybe we don't have to. Okay, so yeah, emotionally unavailable. Maybe you've been emotionally unavailable to yourself. You've been like ignoring a particular emotion or inner calling with your lighthouse card. And even like your words create worlds card. Like what you're saying to yourself, what you're repeating, what you're... And because you're so, like you're such a communication person, that's important too. Your words create worlds. You've got the three keys here. This typically represents like options, choice, having more than one door to go through. So I think that's important too for you too, because I think there's this feeling of like one or the other. 
So this could just represent choice, having multiple options. Things, for you I keep getting, there's things you can shuffle around, there's things you can change. A little bit, a little bit less of this, a little bit more of this. Like, it might not be obvious right now, but maybe because everyone's situation is different, maybe soon it'll be more clear because there is that message in a bottle coming up. You've got so much like potential that you've been just like bottling up. Like there's so much energy and the word I used the other day was like fizzy, effervescent. There's so much like passion in you and creativity. You seem to have like the best of the both worlds. You just haven't tapped into that creative side as much as you maybe would have liked. Again, I feel for you, it hasn't, it wasn't by choice. It was by necessity. You had to, you had a lot of responsibility and you had, but now is your turn. Like this is your turn. You've got the little controller. This is about like taking control. And look at the heart in the inside, in the middle there. It's like you're allowing your heart into this like control, you know, controlled environment. I love the little alien because the alien to me is like unexplored worlds, allowing a little bit more of the unpredictability and the unfamiliar into your life. You've got this sunflower here. Immediately, I think of the Queen of Wands, so creativity, and, and even just like with the I am good enough, it's like, you know what, I don't care what they think anymore, you know? Self-reflection, you've got the star, shooting star here. This one fell out of the charm tree, which I think is significant, because I'm putting it back, like this is your wish. I feel like you've always been a, a leader. You could be a boss or just have a lot of, like we've talked about the responsibility, but you could be like the head of something where everyone comes to you. You're working long hours. Like I feel like you, you lead a lot of people, you know, I, and, and I, again, that goes into the responsibility kind of thing. So Sorry, I'm just looking at this to see what else. You have a natural gift for something, like it's in your DNA. It's a natural ability or gift. You've been called to it your whole life. And I think coming up is your chance to pursue it. Okay, let's see if there's one more card I could get. Oh, witchlings, I wanna get witchlings, here we go. I knew I had another one. Okay, group two, and then we'll do your pendulum. and then a bunch of cards a bunch of cards fell out we'll take the ones that landed on the table you've got clarity intuition courage wow perfect words so confidence self-confidence opens you up to the energy required to carry you through each day at your very best you've got clarity clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner wisdom intuition the power of intuition will light your path your lighthouse card providing a connection to the divine you also have courage which i see you as a very courageous person Courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down. Oh my gosh, I love your reading. Let's take a look at your letters and your pendulum. I want to mention too, if you like these Witchlings cards, I did an entire reading with these Witchling cards on Patreon and I uh, did the spells with them. So if you want to check that out, my Patreon's linked below. initials names sometimes they spell things sometimes they don't Let's get a couple more you got t c a i u z and n Let's see what see what you notice names initials sometimes there's words sometimes there's words in different languages have fun with it though So let's do a pendulum. Think of a yes or no question. Got a no here. Got a no. So typically when I 
see any answer. It just means more people asked the question where the answer was no. So take what resonates as a whole with your entire reading. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you want me to keep doing videos like this. Uh, it lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm doing. And yeah, we will see you next time. Hello, group three. If you chose the third crystal, then this is your message about your dreams, your wishes, your goals, that big thing that you want to accomplish this year. And we're going to just check in with the cards, see what's going on with that. And also, I want to ask the cards what special gifts and abilities you have that are going to help get you there. So let's dive in. We'll just pull some tarot cards. I've got lots of oracle cards today as well. But let's see what's going on with this dream. You can think of a yes or no question for the pendulum. Let's see what's going on here. Group three. All right, so you've got the Magician and the King of Pentacles there, so that's really amazing. You've got the Page of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Three of Coins. Okay, this is really interesting. Three of Coins reversed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let me just look at this for a second. This one's fascinating. <clears throat> okay, group three, this is really interesting. For you specifically, each group is so different today. For you, I feel like there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot that you want to accomplish. This isn't, for you, this doesn't really come down to one particular thing. So what I mean by that is this could have to do with like three goals, four goals that are equally important to you that you're sort of what I see is at the beginning. And that's a, a bit of a theme today. I feel like a lot of people are starting new things, starting new jobs, new goals, new careers, uh, research, you know, all, all of that. But for you, let me just, let me just get a bit more info here. But yeah, for you, I feel like it's not one thing. Six of Cups. The world. Okay, so I'm getting some advice for you and that's to focus your intention. Because what I think might be happening is there's, I think there's so much that you want to pursue. There's so much right now that's either interesting, you know, interesting to you or some, you know, things that are really calling to you, things that you want to research, pursue. I feel like there is a bit of a theme today about being at the beginning of something, the start of a journey. But for you, I feel like there's a lot that I feel like there's a lot that's calling to you right now. So I'm getting that focusing your intention, focusing your because here, here's what I think is happening. I think that there is a bit of the feeling of dreaming, fantasizing. And with the Ace of Wands, I love this card. I was saying another group got this card actually, and I was saying that this card is wonderful, but it there's it's just a seed. It's just a seed. So we have to plant the seed, we have to water the seed, we have to nurture the seed, the idea, whatever this represents for you. It does take a lot of work. So this is wonderful and inspiring. It's like that first light of a match. It's the first sort of glimmer of interest in something or passion towards something. And I see there's a lot that's that's interesting you to you right now. I feel like there's so much that you want to absorb and so much you want to try. But what I'm sort of seeing is right now, the best thing to do is, is focus in your energy on one at a time, you know, because I feel like maybe too many things are pulling your attention. And I think it's sort of, it seems to be sort of stuck in one day. One day I'll do this. One day I'll pursue this. So for you, I think that one thing that you could do and that what I'm seeing as a bit of a blockage for you is taking these dreams and pulling them down onto earth into concrete steps. It's making me think of the, 
uh, one card from this deck. It's balance, spirituality, and practicality because you've got the manifestation, the visualization, the interest, the all of that down. You've you've got the magic part of this down. What I see as a potential blockage right now for you is the practical steps necessary to get started with this. And I see that once you do, and for each of you that'll be different. For some of you it's a phone call, for some of you it's taking a course or uh, signing up for, you know, a class or something or applying for that job. Even even a baby step like getting the resume ready. If you don't know how to do that, is there somewhere local that can help with that? I'm not, I have no idea how to write a resume, so I know who I would probably ask for that. Um, so for, you know, there's all these different things. If, if you, so for instance, let's just stick with that example. So if you had to write a resume, but you haven't written one in years, who can you ask to help? Set up one phone call with them or email them, send them a text. Hey, you know what? I really could use help with this resume. Can I buy you a coffee? Can you help me? you know, put this together or, or point me in the right direction. If it's a question you need to ask, just send that email. If it's a business you want to start, what's the first step you can take? Is it asking someone that's doing something similar? Is it, you know, researching something online, carving out an hour of time to do that research? So for you, the ideas are there, the inspiration is there, the interest, the fascination, the readiness, it's just sort of like a matter of taking these dreams and bringing them down because you can. Otherwise, they just sort of float around. I mean, this is this. I really relate to this one uh, out of the readings today because there has been so many ideas I've had over the years. Me and my mom, too, actually. We've had so many different ideas for businesses and things we'd love to do. And it always just sort of stopped at, oh, wouldn't that be nice to, to do that? Or we could totally do that. And then, you know. It was nice to think about, but we never really, you know, took that step. It's like, well, how would we do that? That's that's the point. So I think for you right now, the best thing to do is just some research. Get on the internet, go to the library, ask that person, ask questions. Do not feel like you're bothering someone right now by asking questions. This this curiosity right now is going to be your best friend. It's going to open up a whole new world for you. All right, so this is going to help give you some direction. It's going to help help you harness this dream, harness this goal, and actually manifest it. So the reason why I was comparing it to that one card from the uh, Moonology is because there's a balance between the spirituality aspect of it, which I think you already, you've got this, and then the practicality, the steps, the concrete steps you could take, which are uncomfortable typically, you know, because it's just sort of like, oh my gosh, I don't want to have to do that part. I don't want to have to ask that person this question. I don't want to have to send that email, but it feels so good once you do it. So for you, I feel like your goal is totally doable. This is something that's actually very practical. It's something that can be, it's something that I think could lead to a lot for you. A lot of other things, like I said, with this world card, I feel like it could open up a whole new world. It's just about taking that dream and harnessing it and focusing it on one thing at a time. Because again, I feel like you've got so many ideas. You're likely a very, very creative person. It's so interesting. Group two is very like left brain thinking, you know, very logical, you know, sort of led with logic and, and, and it was more swords energy. You are cups, you are wands, passion, manifestation, magic. And I really do think that this has a lot of potential to grow for you and lead to tons of different things. It's just a matter of harnessing it and directing it. So that's really what I see so far for you. Uh, let's see, that was a bit, <clears throat> sorry, a, a bunch just popped out. I'm just going to ask for a few, a few less than that because we've already got lots of tarot here and then we'll jump to Oracle. So group three, you really seem like, I, I feel like you have so many different ideas. What I'm seeing as well is there's a bit of a fear of like, oh no, has this been done? Um, a little bit of fear possibly of like working with others as well um, or bringing someone else into this you might have a little bit of fear of collaboration. Uh, likely, what I'm seeing, you are a, not necessarily introverted, but you're, you're a daydreamer, you're an inward person. You escape into your mind, into movies, music. Uh, you, I think, keep yourself great company. I can relate to that. Like I, I'm very comfy being alone and doing my own thing and doing artistic things. So that seems to be you. Like, it doesn't mean that, uh, 
you're not social or anything, but the three of coins reverse tells me that it's not your first, like what I'm feeling from it today is that it's not your first, you know, okay, well, let's see who we can get involved in this and let's tell this person and ask this person. So this is, I'm seeing as a potential blockage, but it's, it's really the only thing here that I'm seeing. So you've got temperance here. So here's the other thing for you. I think there seems to be like, when you attempt something, it's it's all in. It's like, I'm going to do this, this, this. So when you want to do something, it's like, okay, I'm going to do all of the things that I want to do. I've got this dream. I want to make this. I'm going to make this thing. I'm going to call this person. I think for you, one thing that might help bring this into reality and make this happen is just one thing at a time. Uh, sort of uh, practical steps. This all boils down to practical steps and you've got what it takes. This is what I see for you. And one of the things that I think is going to help get you there is you are a really fast learner and you seem to be like eager to learn. So when you are interested in something, you soak it up, you soak it up. You want to learn about it. It's all or nothing in a really beautiful way. So when you're learning something, you're all in. That's all you think about. That's what you want to focus on. I relate to this as well. So yeah, I think this is a real, this is really great. I've got really great feelings about what you want to accomplish. There's definitely signs of abundance and having this be brought down onto earth, like tangible goal setting here. Uh, just, it's just, it's just asking you to balance that spirituality and that practicality to bring it into reality. Cause you've got it again. You've got the, you've got the manifestation and the magic part down. You're likely an intuitive. I see you as an intuitive. I see you as you likely have spiritual gifts that you're aware of. Uh, I see you as a bit of a, well, I shouldn't say a bit. I see you as an empath. Okay. I see you as an empath and maybe that's why there's a bit of hesitation to bring other people into this or, you know, connect with other people because you seem to be very affected by other people. So you just like to work on your own, which is, which is great. But I think in this case, opening up to collaboration might really help. So you also have happiness. If happiness is what you want, then happy you shall be. This really feels to me like sort of your philosophy or how you approach things. I really see you as an optimist. I see you again as a daydreamer. You have just beautiful visions and goals. I see you as an, as someone who um, also has a lot of dreams for just the world in general. I feel like this doesn't just stop with you. I feel like this is, you want, whatever this is that you want to do, I think it's going to have a really positive impact on everyone around you, your family, your friends, people you don't know. Uh, this goal that you have, I think spreads happiness. It makes you very happy. I think I see you doing something creative and very fulfilling emotionally, even if it's for now or at the beginning stages, just something you're doing you know, on the side or as a, as a bit of a, you know, pastime kind of thing. You've got energy. So with limitless energy, you'll achieve more than you ever dreamed possible. So here's the thing with you. Like I said, because you have so many goals, so many dreams, if you can harness this energy, just like you see here with the little witchling, if you can harness this energy and direct it to one thing, just to start, just pick one of these things. If it turns out that you change your mind, you want to backtrack and try something else, that's okay. That's totally fine. You've got a lot of interest, I can tell. But pick one, pick one thing. So if you've got seven ideas, what's one you could see yourself starting with? And just see where it goes, you know, just see where it goes. So one, one thing and do the research, ask the questions. Again, I'm getting for you, you have a bit of a hard time asking for favors, questions. Uh, it, it could be shyness, it could be... Uh, just feeling like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to bother them. Like, I don't want to ask questions and bother them. I promise you, you won't be. If they can't help you, the worst that they'll say is, I'm sorry, I don't have that information. You know, or sometimes, like I said, with the seed, you plant a seed in someone's mind and all it takes is, hey, you know what? They were asking about that a few months ago. I have the answer now. Or worst case, they just direct you to someone who does, you know, uh, It'll also feel like once you get going with this, I really see the energy building, the momentum building. Okay, so I tune out negative. Oh, this, I feel like these two are connected. So I tune out negative people and thoughts. So with happiness, this is the feeling. You you definitely, you know how I said, oh, you, you might be an empath. No, you are. You for sure are. So you, you are an empath and you are very affected by the energy of others. And I think that overall, we're not happy all the time. 
Obviously no one's positive all the time. It's okay to experience the other emotions, but overall I see you as somebody who tries to focus on the positive or what you can do, what, you know, to look forward to in a situation or what is working out, you know, what steps you can take. So I see you as a very uh, productive and positive person. So I tune out negative people and thoughts. You might be dealing with people that have a hard time with your happiness and your energy and your creativity, your daydreaming, like, you know, you might be dealing with that. But I, I like this person's expression. It's sort of like, all right, you know, because you can't control, we can't control the people's feelings or emotions or what they say or feel. So, you know, I feel like you're kind of tuning, tuning that out and just sort of minding your own business and doing your own thing. And, uh, you know, because I think you are going to be collaborating more and meeting new people, you might not, like everyone you run into is not going to be necessarily a great match for you. So that's okay. That's just part of it when you're working with more people. And then you have, I deserve respect. So having said that, you know, you can tune out negativity, but you don't have to put up with disrespect. So um, you, you know, maybe throughout this journey are learning to set some boundaries. Uh, and, you know, asking for the respect that you deserve. I deserve respect. So that's awesome. So let's see what else we have here. I love your reading group three. I'm really, I've got really good feelings about this. You are a magician. I see you feeling so much momentum and, and this is going to lead again to so much, so much more. The journey. Oh, I lo look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. So for some of you, this actually might involve travel. I see this person is in a car here and you've also got the chariot. Uh, so this, you know, there, there could be travel involved for a few of you, but this really makes me think of just the chariot momentum and, and enjoying the ride too, which I feel like is something that will happen for you. I feel like you're going to enjoy the journey to get there. And I feel like this is just sort of part of your personality because I think you are a creative and you like to you like, I see you as like a really great brainstormer. Like you like to brainstorm and write down ideas. I think the only blockage again is just maybe allowing other people into that, into that brainstormer. Cause you might, like I have a friend who really helps me like focus in and really helps me, you know, t take, oh, I love this, look at this. But take those ideas and sort of exactly like this says, turn them into a practical step or helps me like, get more organized. So that might be, you know, someone you're meeting. You have, I can't swear because it's YouTube. I think I can, but I, I don't want to get demonetized. So zero given. Okay. So this is part of, I think this tune out other people's thoughts and emotions. I think too, you are really embracing what makes you unique. You're embracing because I, I do feel like you're, you're very, you're very unique. I think you're very different. I think you have, I'm getting the sense from you, I'm seeing that you're intuitive, but I feel like you have just a very different way of going about things, very unique. You might have been misunderstood growing up. Uh, you might have felt sometimes like left out of things because you didn't fit in necessarily, but now that's a gift. Now that's like something that is going to take you far because you're unique. And I also feel like both of these cards are a really good indication that you're caring less what people think because we can't, it's none of our business. That that quote I love because it's so true. What other people think of us is none of our business. We can't control it. And I, I just think like it doesn't really matter because everyone's going to have an opinion and some people just don't connect with, you know, certain qualities in some people and connect better with, with other people. And I see that there's a community or people that you know, would just embrace you for who you are. So I feel like you're not wanting to fit in. I feel like you're really embracing your unique qualities, your unique gifts. And that's partially what this reading was about. And for you, I want, I have another deck. Okay, so let's get another deck here. I've got a few more decks here. So group three, what is going on with group three's goal? We have one pop out. You will only, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So you will only see the way by making the way. So what this is saying is you'll only see the way to these goals and dreams by taking those first steps. And every step you take, 
is going to light the next step and then you'll know what to do with the next step and then maybe someone will help you with the next step so it's just a matter for you of like getting started what is that thing and break it down into small steps it doesn't have to be like okay by J by june i have to you know start this business no what's the first step is it doing the research is it asking a question is it taking a course is it you know, doing some pricing of certain items, you know, or if there's something you want to make, if you want to start to start an Etsy shop, maybe it's just going to look around Etsy to see what, you know, some people are charging for similar things. And then maybe the next step is, okay, well, how much would this fabric cost that I need? I'm going to, I'm going to check into that. Okay. Next step. Okay. Maybe I need to, um, set a budget, you know, to budget this in. So like really take it step by step because you know how fast time goes by it flies. I think three years has gone by like that. And it's not about like going back and wishing, oh, damn it, I wish I had done that then. We can't change it. But you can move forward and, you know, allow yourself to, to take these steps, allow yourself to bring this into reality. For you, I keep it, my, my, the message keeps coming back that you feel guilty asking for, asking for information. Like you might have a hard time you know, like in school, for example, example, like raising your hand to ask a question could have been difficult, you know? Um, so I feel like with this too, you're like, okay, there's no stupid questions because there's really not. You have to start somewhere. You have to learn, you know, as, wherever you are is where you're starting. And the thing is, anyone that is where you want to be would never look at you and be like, oh my gosh, what a stupid question. No. Only people that are unwilling to try and doing less than you will ever say that to you. No one that is advanced in what you want to do or, you know, already doing what you want to do would ever look at you and be like, my gosh, they have no idea what they're doing. No one who's like worth connecting with and, and, you know, and if you have questions or you need guidance, they're not going to think your questions are stupid, even if they can't answer them or help you because maybe they've got a lot going on or they've, you know, don't have the answer. They're going to try their best to help you or point you in the right direction. There's no stupid questions. There's no stupid questions. Group three. Group three. situation okay this is great for you too maybe this is the time too to sort of like gather your information we saw that with your page now's a good time to like assess what steps you need to take assess what maybe talents and gifts you have assess maybe what you've done already assess your budget assess your financial goals with with this goal I, everyone's goals here are going to be different you know assess maybe where you need some support assess where maybe you can help this is just to me about like information gathering and really sort of taking a step back and taking a look at something also too one thing that might help you is sort of analyzing all of these dreams and goals and sort of seeing what you really connect with because maybe you're still thinking about goals that you don't feel so connected with anymore so maybe by assessing the situation it might give you a chance to sort of in virgo energy oh my gosh if you can if you have a virgo friend the friend i was mentioning is a virgo very organized very like they're, they're wonderful with like information gathering, getting, getting information organized. Uh, so yeah, that could be also what's happening. Well, I did bring out romance angels because groups one and two had a little bit of a connection to love. And you know what I'm seeing here, you've got, uh, got a little bit here about potential relationships. So let's see. We're focused more on goals, but your goal might be involved with romance. Group three. Okay. <laughs> so it this doesn't mean I'll get one more. It doesn't mean that there's no love or romance, but if finances and career do seem to be at the forefront right now for you, uh, as far as what's going on right now, it doesn't mean that you're not meeting anyone or dating, but financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this just means there could be a connection with your career, with meeting someone or with your relationship. You could be married right now. 
and maybe that's sort of what this is about. Like you've got all these goals. So now maybe part of what this assess the situation is, okay, if I want to do this, what do we need to maybe cut back on? Or what do we need to save for? You know, all, all different things like that. You've got engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So uh, even though this is a bit at the forefront, you still have a relationship proceeding and moving forward. Uh, and that's just part of the journey. You know, maybe you'll meet someone if you're single. Maybe you'll be meeting someone along the way. Maybe if you're in a relationship, things just progress. Maybe because with happiness, maybe there's something you're doing that's making you more happy. And then that happiness just sort of spreads. That's what I feel like is happening. Very, very cool. Now, I do want to ask the cards right before we jump to Charms and the Pendulum. I want to ask, we've already gotten a lot, but I want to ask more about your unique gifts and abilities. What makes you unique in your community, in your friend group, at work? Group three. Okay, Ace of Discs. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, so Ace of Discs, it says wealth. So I, I have a few things for that. Let me just get two more here. So group. Ooh, the Empress. Beautiful. Group three, what makes group three unique? What are group three's ability? Six of wands, awesome. So you, first of all, I think you underestimate how much people recognize your talents and your gifts. Okay, so ace of discs, wealth. I was asking what unique talents and gifts you have. So this is really great because this to me is like creation right now and I think this tells me that you might be underestimating your ability to bring something into reality because I always think of the seed, a lot of seed comparisons with you today, but this is like potential, you know, so you actually have more ability to create and manifest this and bring it into reality than you've seen previously. So this is saying like you have the ability to make this happen. It just might always get paused in fantasy or in daydreaming, but you actually have everything it takes to, to bring this into earth. And I see that you've got the magician, you've got the empress, you are creative, you are incredibly intuitive, nurturing, caring, very in tune with that side of yourself. The nurturing, create, creative is huge for you. Uh, but yeah, very empath. Again, empath, we've seen that. You also have six of wands. I see you as somebody who lifts others up and is very accomplished yourself. So I would definitely take a moment to pause and recognize what you have accomplished because just because you, you know, have the seven of cups energy that we were picking up on doesn't mean you haven't created anything. You've likely done a lot. But I think sometimes what a creative person might do is like, oh, I'd love to do this, this, and this, and it sort of just stays there, or we get stuck there. We don't know what to focus on first. And I feel like for you, you wanna do a lot. So that tells me you've already done a lot. But right now, what the cards are saying is there's one thing you could really harness your energy and focus in on, and it'll take off, like it'll take off. So let's do your pendulum and your charms and uh, see what's going on there. But I love everything you have. Um, I, re I could relate to a little bit of it. You know, I, I relate to the feeling of, well, a few of the things mentioned by the cards, but I, I, I feel like I relate to like that feeling of not knowing what to focus on sometimes, not knowing what to, to focus in on. Okay, so let's see what the charms say. this the brain and the magnifying glass you're definitely looking closer at something with your page of swords you're doing the research you're really if it hasn't happened yet it will soon and I feel like you're going to know the steps to take so you've got two three and thirteen we'll get the letters at the end with the pendulum okay so let's take a look at what we have here you've got a Gemini here Okay. 
Just got Sagittarius there. Hmm. Okay, so let's start here with the brain and the magnifying glass. Again, this is really making me think of your page of swords here. It's exactly what I'm thinking of. So there's something that's interesting you that the, the charms are asking you to look closer at. Look closer, get more detail. Um, even assess the situation, pause, assess the situation. Uh, this could be connected to a Gemini or a Sagittarius. One of those people could help you. You've got the avocado here, which reminds me of Empress energy. So you've got the Empress card as well. But uh, I love that with just the seed as well, the seed in the middle. Um, and you've got the little windmill here. So the windmill to me, in this case is making me think of like winds of change. I'm kind of thinking of actually the wheel of fortune in this case fresh energy even. You've got the word can and the little sword here. This is like ace of swords. Uh, so I feel like an idea, clarity, there's going to be clarity about what you can do, steps you can take. Again, the whistle is usually pause, time out, assess the situation. I think that's just to get organized, to get this sort of, this plan in action, the first step in action. You've got the key to success. Okay, so that's just a good sign. Keys are a symbol of a way forward, an answer, a solution. So the key to success um, is on your board today. You've got the iron. The iron is usually about like iron, like sort of uh, smoothing out a situation. And you've also got it with the ice cream. So that's interesting because ice cream is about, you know what I'm thinking? I think the cards, the cards referencing negativity. I think you are dealing with someone in particular, which has been a bit of a theme lately. So it could just be like, you've got someone you're dealing with who isn't as, I don't know if it's that they overthink, but I feel like, I feel like you are dealing with somebody who's, who's, you're having to sort of tune out negativity. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a coworker, but you're really having to like sort of focus in and kind of like you're really having to sort of like tune it out uh, to, you know, the best you can. Yeah, the ice cream is, it's interesting because you have the six of cups. So I sometimes think of the six of cups. I also think too, there's this feeling of like revisiting an idea as well. You might be revisiting something that you tried before or something you wanted to, to do before. You're sort of taking it out again and trying again or taking another look at it. You have the sailboat, smooth sailing. I can talk about just like go with the flow. You did have temperance as well. You've got the pineapple, which is usually friendship. It can talk about luck. It talks about family. Very interesting. The camera is cool too, because I feel like the camera could even reference something that you want to do. It could be photography. It could have to do with social media. You've got a Leo here. You've got the lion, which also just represents strength. You've got Cinderella's slipper. So that's interesting. We could go into like the symbolism of that movie. That's kind of cool. Like the perfect fit. You're the perfect fit for somebody. That's interesting. You've got the upside down wheelbarrow. Yeah, I feel like someone's sort of dumping their feelings about either this goal or whatever. Like someone seems to be projecting a little bit of, of an experience onto you and you're sort of like not letting it, you're not carrying that anymore with the upside down wheelbarrow. You're like, okay, cool. Like you're not letting it because, because again, we got so much that you're an empath. Uh, so you're sort of setting a bit of a boundary with this person where they might not even know, but you're just sort of like, like the card said, you're sort of tuning them out. I feel like what this comes down to is someone really doesn't understand your vision about something or or why you're doing something. There's been a miscommunication, I think, that is going to get figured out. I just want to pull another card about this because I feel like there's more to it. So because you had the card specifically mentioned tuning out negativity, I'm seeing a miscommunication or a need to smooth something over or reconnect. Group three, what is this? situation the tower okay well i think there maybe there's been a, a realization about someone and this is an interesting tower so this tower is steady it's solid it's not moving it's not budging typically you'd see the tower 
demolished. This tower is stubborn. So this could be sort of like the theme of what's happening. Like you could be dealing with someone that that doesn't like any change and they sort of stubbornly refuse to embrace change or, or growth or anything like that. Group three, what's the situation with this person? You could have also had, okay. I feel like you feel really misunderstood by someone and you kind of feel like they've maybe I'm feeling this is like misunderstood, like feeling like someone doesn't understand you. They could have said something that you felt very hurt by. There could have been a recent painful ending. You could have ended a friendship or a romantic relationship. Let's see what this one is. King of Cups. Control. That's an interesting word. You know what? That's making me think of like the challenging meaning for the King of Cups. In a challenging position, the King of Cups would use someone's emotions against them. Uh, they would be emotionally like, either they know how to sort of work someone's emotions. So you could have been dealing with someone that used your your nature, your, your empathy, and sort of turned it against you. You would know what this is though, okay? Like this is already something... Okay, what's happening with this relationship? Ten of Discs, Two of Cups. Well, for most of you, this relationship can come through this. I think why, like the towers here is like, this is a complete new start. Like something's getting in this too. Like the worst of this is over. If you should choose to continue this relationship, I feel like it's starting from a more stable place, a better place. Maybe there was a misunderstanding. Uh, Maybe someone was dealing with their own insecurities, you know, oh, the dog's barking. I wonder if that's like <laughs> a confirmation that that's what was going on. Very interesting. So let's see what is happening with the pendulum. I'm just going to pause pendulum. it. Three, sorry, I'm back. I was thinking about something though. I already put the cards away. But as far as the situation, I think there's two possibilities here. Um... Oh, sorry, I accidentally grabbed the world too. But I think there's two possibilities here. Now, either this is a connection where you can't come back from it, okay? Which you'll, you'll know, right? You'll know, was this the painful ending of a relationship that you can't go back to, leading to a better connection? People that you do feel connected and feel, you know, people that, you know, you feel you can trust and have long-term relationships with? Or is this, was this a wake-up call in a relationship, you know, to where you needed some more support. So it could be either or. Everyone's situation is going to be different. So of course, take what resonates. But uh, the important thing is I see the Two of Cups union establishment. So either that's you reuniting with this person and working on whatever led to this tower, or it's you saying, okay, goodbye. I'm tuning this out. I'm tuning, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying goodbye. So you know, take take whatever resonates with your situation. But let's see what the letters say and what your pendulum has to add. And I really, really loved your reading. I loved this group a lot. Okay, group three, you can think of a yes or no question. Pause if you need to. Oh, group three. I found it interesting. Okay, you got it for sure. Awesome, so we'll get you some letters. Okay, I found it interesting the keyword they used for the King of Cups there. It was control, which I think was intended as like emotional control, but I read it even more so as like someone kind of trying to control your emotions or being controlling using your, your empathy or your emotions. For the cards to mention, like, you've got, like, a few cards talking about, you know, tuning someone out, and then everything I was seeing in the charms, I do think there's been someone, it could even be someone from your past where it's, like, replaying in your mind, but now you're just like, oh, well, oh, well, they don't, they don't know me, or they don't really understand me, they don't get me, and they don't have to. The thing is, not everyone, this took me like a long time to deal with, not everyone's going to like us, 
you know, or, you know, we're, everyone has different things that they look for in a relationship. So that took me a long time to sort of like come to terms with because the idea of like someone like not liking me or, or like I always wanted to like, I was a people pleaser and I still deal with that sometimes, but you know, not everyone's going to like, it's literally impossible. And a lot of times if you like, if you're trying to make everyone like you, it means you're not really being true to yourself. So I feel like you're just now being like, oh, okay, well, if they don't like me, none of my business. Oh, well. Okay. So these are your letters. You've got C, P, Q, O, Z, R, A, E. I don't know if I said Q already. Q, B, D, E, F, T, U, X, V, T, L, Y, I, I, I. W K O R T. I don't know if I said that T. Another T. N and W. So let me know what you see. If you see a word, initials, names. You might even see a word where all the letters aren't there. Sometimes just the arrangement. Like, this is why I never contribute words because, like, I come up with <laughs> stuff like this. I'm like, Zeller's restaurant in Canada. Tell me if anyone else is from Canada. Do you remember Zeller's? Do you remember Zeller's restaurant? It was the best. I miss Zeller's so much. Comment below if you miss Zeller's, please. And if you don't know what Zeller's is, it was just the best. Anyways, <laughs> I already did your pendulum. I think that's good. So on that note, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. It lets me know what you like. And yeah, I really miss you guys while I was away. I hope you have an awesome day. And yeah, I hope you have a good day. I already said that. Okay, bye. Hey, group four. <laughs> it's actually a different day. I decided I wanted to make this a four group reading. Uh, I originally filmed three groups, but I decided I wanted to add one extra one. Um, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I like three groups. Sometimes I want four groups. But if you chose the Road Knight Crystal, then this is your reading about specifically your dreams, your wishes, your goals. Let me just sort of tilt this up there. Uh, that one big goal or wish or passion that you have, something you want to achieve. And I also wanted to ask the cards different qualities, special qualities or gifts that you have that are going to help you get there. So let's see what we have. You can think of a yes or no question for the pendulum, but let's dive right in and see what's going on here with that goal of yours. Okay, you've got the Page of Coins. You've got the Ten of Cups, the King of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Coins, the Death Card, and the Moon. Okay. <clears throat> So here's the thing, I feel like you are, either you are really getting close to making a change or you've recently been through a change because I'm seeing this almost as like a little bit of a story, but you've got the Eight of Cups and the Death card here. So I really do feel as though, and even with the King of Wands being there before this change, because you've got like this page of coins, this to me, the image, to, I feel like this person's almost like protective of this idea or of this this plan this goal this new start so there's a bit of like that feeling of wanting to protect it and then you've got the ten of cups here with the king of wands so let me just piece this together here <clears throat> So I feel as though a change, now, if you don't know what this is, this is likely going to happen soon then, because I feel like a change is coming, some sort of assistance to help you make this change. Okay, so this could be like an offer of some kind, some sort of help, some advice, uh, something that comes in, something is available to you. Okay, there's some sort of assistance or a boost of some kind, a friend helping you with something just a piece of information that sort of helps you get something started <clears throat> because I feel like this is you making some sort of change you've got the eight of cups here 
But this card is, is interesting. It feels like this was a hard change to make. I, I keep getting the sense that this already happened or the transformation, or you're sort of like right in the middle of this. I feel like if you chose group four, you're sort of right in the middle. I feel like you're in that very confusing, uh, sort of in-between time between a change. You're not quite where you want to be, but you're not where you came from. Like there's been so much growth and so much change. So I, I just feel like there's some sort of new opportunity coming in that's helping this change along. And we, we keep getting sort of like hints of abundance here. I'm getting little clues of abundance because you've got this six of coins here. And I'm noticing, to me, what I got from these berries was abundance. I sort of felt like they found these raspberries and there was just like an abundance of them. And then just the coins here. And I feel like the rabbit here as well with the moon card. And I feel too like there's there's some sort of help or assistance or abundance coming maybe where you least expect it or through change, through this, what I feel is like a very foggy, confusing time, there's going to be these little, like almost seeds that you're finding or little, little boosts or something, like little treasures you're finding along the way. Now, whether that is like tips or assistance, but you're the one that got this started. This is the thing. Like you're the one that got this, got this going. I feel like you sort of, you took a bit of a chance. You took, you know, you, you were very brave. I feel like you took a step. You did this for yourself. Like this was a very personal decision. This was something you did for yourself. Uh, and, and I get that sort of, like I mentioned earlier, there's like that feeling of a pro like protection, like you wanted to protect this. I embrace change. Yeah, I see, I see right now, this just confirms. I feel like right now is that uncomfortable in between time. I feel like that's why I was called to do another group because I was finished the reading and it's a different day and I was just sort of cleaning my tarot room. I'm like, I need to do one more group. So I feel like if you chose group four, this is the group of like discomfort. So maybe that's why you clicked it. Maybe maybe you're sort of in that in-between. You've made this change and, and you might be wondering like, okay, I left this situation. You know, you're, you're sort of feeling like, oh gosh. Now it doesn't necessarily mean you left a job or anything like that, or you left. I, I kind of feel like you, you did start a new chapter though. Like you left something behind. Now, whether this was a year ago, uh, a month ago, I just feel like you're sort of, look at that, step up and lead. This is exactly what I feel like you did with your King of Wands. You had to take a step. You just took a step and you just sort of, and you just sort of trusted. I feel like you trusted yourself. You trusted the situation. You were following your fulfillment, like something there's a definite theme today, and of course that makes sense with the theme we have, but there's a, there's a theme today of like wanting to include more of what fulfills you, of, of what makes you feel good and happy and fulfilled and, and, and enjoy things you enjoy, your creativity. And not only that, for you too, I feel like this might have to do with people too. Um, I feel like if you chose group four, you're not only going through this sort of uncomfortable in-between time of like one chapter ending and a new chapter beginning but it's people too it's the relationships it's the things you're focused on it's the hobbies even maybe uh, your opinions on things might be changing your whole outlook like you seem to be going through just a massive massive transformation and if you're if you're brand new to tarot i, I sometimes like to mention this when you see the death card transformation is really the key word of that card one chapter closing, one beginning. And the other thing about the death card is it's not like, it's not so much like an unexpected, uh, catastrophic, completely like surprising change as if like you got the tower. This, this was a change you made, but it still doesn't make it any less uncomfortable. This card says I embrace change. So you are embracing change. You did step up and lead. You took a step towards something you wanted to do, towards a goal you had, towards a passion. Uh, towards the people you want to be around. 
but it is confusing right now. I feel like you're sort of in this, in this very know your worth. That could have been part of it, right? So just as an example, you could have left a job that you felt like undervalued. You felt you, you weren't appreciated. You know, a situation you could have left where you felt like, you know, my expertise or my, my time, my energy isn't being valued. My opinion isn't being valued. So I feel like this was the change. This is why you you had to step up and lead because you recognized, hey, like either you felt like, okay, there's no room for me to grow here because that could be what it is too. You reached a, a point in a career or a situation or even a relationship where you're like, okay, there's nowhere, there's nowhere for me to grow now. So this is, you were ready to, to step up one level. You know, so I feel like that's why this change is so uncomfortable because even your eight of cups, there's that feeling of like familiar, familiarity, I never say that word right. There's that feeling of like almost craving what was familiar, but still knowing that, okay, I need, I need this change. Now for a few of you, I really do feel like this either has to do with self-employment or seeking a different career where you were, you know, uh, you felt it was more balanced, you know, what you were receiving for the effort and the time you were putting in, you know, and if you are self-employed, this could have just been the whole journey for you, like stepping up and, and, uh, taking these steps and embracing change. Maybe some of you are, are adding something to a career you already have. Maybe some of you are just pursuing a passion, you know, something you're very passionate about, but for you group four, I feel like it's, it's more than just one thing for you. It's, it's, you're, you're just in it. You're in one of the major times of change for you in your life. Like looking back at the time now, you're, you're going to look back at this moment and think, wow, so much changed during that time. Say yes to your open door. Awesome. Okay. So we could read this in a few different ways with the eight of cups, you know, the death card, this could have been a door leaving somewhere leaving a job where you didn't, you know, feel valued or, you know, you didn't feel happy there. You knew there was something else available or something else you wanted to search for. This could be a new door opening up, which I feel like definitely could be the case for a lot of you. You could also, this just came through, you could be getting multiple different kinds of opportunities over the next little while, I keep getting the message, keep getting the message that this is happening right now though. Like this is happening or starting, you're in the middle of this very, you know, somewhat confusing, maybe exhilarating at times, exciting. Like you're, you're creating a new path here. You know, you're creating a, a completely new path, step up and lead. <clears throat> Group. Four. So say yes to your open door. There's something the cards are are saying. There's there's an opportunity available to you. You've got an open door, or an open door, or a door that's going to be opening soon. Group four. What's happening with group four's goal? Emotional baggage. Be open to receiving. Look at that. You have a lot about the word open. All right. So. <clears throat> that's crucial here for you. And because you've got like, I embrace change and even the six of coins, you really do seem to be in a place of like being open, open to receiving, open to, you have to allow yourself to receive though. That's the key. If you have a hard time receiving opportunities, even with know your worth, like you might receive an opportunity or someone might Let's just say you had a business. This just happened. Okay, perfect perfect example. Okay, oh my gosh. This happened for a reason. So I went to the dollar store yesterday and I bumped into someone that I haven't seen in years. And this person makes the most beautiful wreaths I have ever seen. She made me one for my birthday for Halloween. Um, she just makes these beautiful wreaths for for seasonal wreaths for celebrations for special occasions the spring wreaths she makes are beautiful and she's been making them for years they're they're stunning i can't stress this enough so i said well have you entered like a craft show like have you do you have like a facebook page do you sell them 
and she still she still does it and she she sort of looked down just like I hate charging people money I hate asking for money there was like this feeling of almost shame for like receiving for her effort and her this is the thing she put so much love and passion like I just got chills she put so much she put so much passion into these wreaths so she's sort of forgetting that like she's giving something and she's allowed to receive you know what I'm saying so like there was this shame or guilt it was really guilt associated with receiving so that might be something you're experiencing as well with know your worth be open to receive say yes to your open door and the six of uh, coins here this could be an issue for you this could be sort of what's changing is are you allowing yourself to receive you know do you have a business are you underpricing something or are you not valuing your time um, you know whatever the situation is You've got a lot about like, say yes, know your worth, be open to receiving, six of coins, you know, allowing yourself to receive. <clears throat> so think of something, if that's the situation for you, like say, think of something that you were really excited to purchase and you felt really good about buying. That's how people will feel about whatever you're creating, if, if this is the situation for you. So you also have this card, Emotional Baggage, and I feel like with your Eight of, your eight of Cups, this is partially, you know how I said I feel like you are... You've left something behind. You're in a completely in-between time right now. And this is part of it too. I feel like you're releasing a lot uh, with Step Up and Lead as well. There's sort of like... <clears throat> I just sort of uh, thought of one card from a different deck, like traveling lightly. You're, you're sort of... You're starting fresh in a lot of ways. I'm not saying this is what you should do or this is what you're doing. I'm just giving an example, another example. I knew someone who sold everything and they decided to travel. You know, that's what they, that's what they wanted to do. And so again, like everyone's situation is going to be different. Now I am going to pull a love message just because every other group for this reading did get one. Um, there was, you know, a little bit of mention of love. So very soon. So clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. I feel like this is multiple things not just uh romance or relationships i feel like this is what you're doing with step up and lead and say yes to the open door i feel like you're right i keep coughing but i feel like you are deciding what you want completely and, and remember i said this was like this seems like multiple areas of your life not just not just connected to this passion you seem to be this definitely, for you especially, I might even get an additional love message because this this definitely could have, because I was feeling that relationship thing, like I said earlier, I feel like this also has to do with the people you want to be around, the relationships that you value. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing today. Group four. Express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You're getting so much about like open doors. Um green light like there's a green light towards something you're trying to manifest or create so express your love so in a relationship this could be you know somebody who's interested in you that you're going to meet and you'll have the opportunity to say that or express it or talk to them or things might move along like or, or the relationship like they might express how they feel and then you feel comfortable expressing how you feel there's just so much here about like brand new starts, new beginnings, new opportunities, new doorways. But I do feel, again, like it's that sort of in-between uncomfortable time. You took a chance. I feel like you were very brave. You started something completely new or this was very new to you. I think if you were to take one thing from today's reading, it's that you're entering a completely new, new time, a new phase, new opportunities, uh, this is a completely new beginning. It's very, it's just sort of like that uncomfortable change. But whatever you left behind, like, was no longer fulfilling. It wasn't fulfilling for you. Or wasn't rewarding. Or it just didn't feel like it connected. It didn't feel like it resonated for you. Cleansing, yes. Okay. So energy cleansing creates a healthy and harmonious space in which to thrive. So part of this, I'll, I'll mention two things. So with the emotional baggage, with your Eight of Cups, this could be partially what's happening too. You're, you feel as though this is like a fresh brand new start. You've, you've released something, something's behind you. You're moving forward in this new direction. But cleansing too, this could be quite literal. So you might actually be 
focusing right now on like spring cleaning. Right as I record this, uh, we're entering spring. So this could be something you're focused on as well as a little bit of spring cleaning. Um, maybe you're getting rid of some things like with emotional baggage. Maybe you're, you know, selling some things on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay or Kijiji or, you know, whatever, whatever you use or a yard sale or something like that. So you could actually be as part of this transformation, embracing this new new beginning going through these doors I keep getting this image of like wanting to pack lightly you know so you're letting go of some things so it might be physical objects and things um and it could just be you know more spiritual or more emotional but I want to mention too like with the whole idea of spring cleaning and letting go of things it feels so good of course don't let go of things that you love and that bring you joy you don't have to get rid of things just for the sake of getting rid of them but we tend to keep things and i think this is going to resonate for you we keep things out of guilt we keep things because there might be a memory associated with them even if it's not necessarily a good memory i know i did this a lot like i would keep things that was like oh i got this during this time but it didn't make me feel good it made me feel maybe anxious or it made me feel you know n not good not not you know what I, you know what i'm trying to say so you might be looking through your things and actually cleansing like releasing some things letting go of some things um, this could be a good time for you to write a letter and you don't have to send it but write a letter to someone releasing them saying goodbye and you know you could burn it in in your backyard bonfire if you have one or um or just tear it up and throw it out you know so re letter writing might be good but even like going through because i'm right now cleaning my tarot room if you're on my patreon you know how often i clean my tarot room um but even just going through today like there's a few books that i you know have no interest in reading and i've just found so many little things and i'm like why am i holding on to this so I, and last year I, I let go of like 10 boxes of stuff and this year I already have a box started of like things to let go of. So that's, that's kind of what I'm getting for you because you have this like new door, stuff up and lead, like you seem to be wanting to enter this new phase with this, with this completely sort of fresh outlook or fresh, you know, fresh new start, brand new start here. butterflies transformation you seem to like this baby here i'm looking at the expressions you seem to have sort of like this new wonder or curiosity like look at the baby looking at the butterfly there seems to be like this new wonder about what's ahead so even though there's a little bit of insecurity there or the, you know the fear of the unknown there's a lot of like wonder and mystery and um treasures to find along the way and i'm seeing that here with like the rabbit here i'm almost thinking of like alice in wonderland here with this rabbit but again like with the king of wands being here you started this this is great like this is a decision you made like you did this this isn't the kind of change where it's like again like it's it doesn't feel like tower change necessarily where it was unexpected it was like no i made these changes or i move towards these changes you know i embraced these changes i mean that's what this card even says i embrace change and you can see like their expression it's not comfortable but it's necessary that kind of thing so i feel like you chose group four just as a reminder that this confusing time is not going to last there's a lot of open doors available to you be open to receiving is key here don't be guilty about the opportunities that could come along. If you have a business, don't be guilty about offering your services in exchange for its energy exchange. Think of it that way. You know, so know your worth. This is a huge thing for you. And with emotional baggage, maybe you're releasing something that made you feel that way. Something that made you feel like your time or your effort wasn't worth much, but you're sort of with step up and lead and this King of Wands, you're like, hey, wait a minute. I have so much to offer and I deserve to receive for what I put out. This is a card of give and take. And I really noticed the raspberries there because I'm just thinking of like abundance and in specific, 
there's a specific feeling of like, you're going to find abundance along the way. So I want to ask the cards, before we skip to charms and pendulums, I want to ask the cards what specific qualities or skills or talents you have that are going to help you along the way. So you've got the moon twice, okay? So you could be a Pisces, but you're intuitive. You're, you're extremely intuitive. You're emotional. You're in tune with your emotions. You might actually, I just got, you might be in tune with the moon. You know, the moon, the faces of the moon and moon magic. And uh, I just got gardening. <laughs> There's so many like gardening things coming into my mind, partially because I'm starting seeds. But yeah, like I'm thinking of even gardening because they're outdoors, they're holding flowers. So that did pop into my mind. But yeah, you're intuitive. Uh, you are nurturing. You are caring. I think you're very brave. You're, you're, this is why this is happening, because you're brave. You're so incredibly brave. And for some of you, maybe this is change, like, because you know how I said this is change you're making? Absolutely, but it could have been something that made you have to make a change. So I'm not saying, like, this wasn't uncomfortable or didn't push you out of your comfort zone. It definitely is. Um, so it could have been something that happened that sort of made you have this aha moment of, like, okay, I need to leave something behind introspect yeah i love this so introspection uh prince of cups yeah you are just incredibly intuitive you are a loving person i see you as a creative person i see you as somebody who shares their emotions i see you as someone who's very trusting i see you as someone who's very compassionate and loving i see that here with both of these you're nurturing you're loving you're the first person to offer and I see that with the Six of Pentacles, too. You're just the first person to offer. If you see someone who needs something, you want to help. You want to help immediately. You, you know, very generous. Very generous with your heart, too. It's so interesting because there's this feeling of, like, secretive, but also uh, very trusting. So what I'm getting from that is once you trust someone, you trust them with your whole heart. Perseverance, Seven of Discs. Absolutely. We're just getting so much confirmation here. You are persevering through this uncomfortable time. So you are just so resilient. You're so resilient. You are a problem solver. You're a problem solver. You are patient. I see you as patient. Uh, you might not think that. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm, I don't feel very patient. But you probably are. Like, you probably have been very patient for a lot of things. And I think you're very patient with people as well. But the one thing I want to mention, which is interesting about the Seven of Discs coming up, is I always think of this card as like, and the seven of discs, you know how I was talking about, well, the seven of discs is what I want to talk about, but linking to this card. I feel like for those of you that do have like businesses or services that you offer, or even if this just is connected to a passion or a relationship or time or just your energy, your energy, is the bottom line here. You're sort of reflective right now because this sometimes reminds me of like a bit of a personal audit. Looking at the situation and the past situation and thinking, okay, this definitely didn't work. This isn't working for me anymore. This is how I'm moving forward. So you, ha you have the right to change your mind. <laughs> and if something at one point was, you know, working for you, you have the right to change your mind and no one can question that, right? You, you can change your mind at any point and, and express that something no longer is either acceptable for you or that you're uncomfortable with something or you want something different. Like, you can change your mind. You're changing. You know, you're going through all sorts of changes. Dreams, Princess of Cups. So it's amazing. You've got the Prince and the Princess of Cups. You're so much Cups energy. And I saw that here. Just so caring and and what i love about the princess of cups too there's that feeling of openness and that's what i'm seeing here you're you seem to be embracing this change no matter how uncomfortable it is you might not even know what this change is you could just be sensing it which i feel like you are so for a few of you watching you might not know what this is you just might feel like you you're not really where you were and you're not really yet where you want to be it's hard to describe, but if you're feeling it, you know what I mean. It's like, it's just that feeling of 
limbo. You know, I'm in limbo right now. You're just such an emotionally strong person. Very creative. You're so creative. I saw that with the King of Wands. I think you come up with really awesome ideas. Intuition, Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the cards are really emphasizing this for you. You've got three court cards, all cups here as far as describing you. So water sign, possibly. <laughs> Not necessarily. Water could just be in your charts. I don't often specifically mention signs because there could be certain aspects of you that might be in your chart and you know sometimes I think like a lot of times I'll read it's like okay well I'm listing like seven signs here but I'm really strongly feeling water for you um but yeah intuition so we already we already got that this is just confirmation you're so intuitive creative nurturing caring understanding emotional you feel empathy true empathy like true you're actually very affected by people and I feel like with cleansing and emotional baggage you're not you're you're maybe making an effort to maybe set some more boundaries or be careful what you take on from others because I think maybe you're sort of realizing where you, what you are in control of versus what you're not uh, so you could have been a person who took on everything the weight of the world you took on everyone else's issues and it sort of sucked all the energy out of you every day and you didn't have anything left for yourself so this is part of cleansing too uh, but it's so interesting because I'm really feeling the literal interpretation of cleansing today of like spring cleaning it's probably just because it's spring so my mind is there but you know going through some things spring cleaning maybe even if you do sell it you've got a little bit of you know extra cash you can put away for something for yourself or you know, uh, it just feels so good. It feels so good. My mom was mentioning that the energy she's been feeling lately has just been sort of, she's just been feeling kind of like off and, and just not very energetic and, and a little bit like, you know, just feeling a little bit down. And so we went out and she picked up a new candle. So I was like, mom, open the window, light your candle, do some cleaning, make yourself something special pour yourself a nice glass of a nice, nice drink or something, you know, cleanse out that energy. Like we got to freshen the energy, especially if you live in a cold climate, like where I am, your windows have been closed for several months. No airflow, which is the energy. It's stagnant. It's, it's like stagnant energy. I can feel it. As soon as, as soon as there's like a warm day, my windows are open. Um, most of you know, I'm very like, I work with the, with the wind. So breeze wind is like extremely important to me. So anytime there's a breeze too, I'll open the window. Um, but yeah, like there's that stagnant energy that needs to sort of get out of your space. So if, if you're similar to like where I am, it's very cold and you can't even just like open the window for a little bit, let a little bit of fresh air in, um, you know, and there's different methods of energy cleansing you can research as well. Um, so even like a bell sound cleansing, you know, something, something like that even. And of course, like cleaning, like actual, like you can make a cleaner. It doesn't have to, you don't have to go out and buy, don't, don't go out and buy a bunch of new cleaners or anything. Unless that makes you happy, uh, by all means, but you don't need to like look up a homemade cleaner, clean, vacuum, open a window if you can, you know make some muffins like fry, you know you know what I'm, I hope you know what I'm picturing <laughs> but let's jump to charms because we've gotten so much here and I feel like I was called to do four groups because I was the reading was done I was about to edit and uh I was like no we need four groups there's there's something I have to say to another group so for you you're in the in-between right now you are being very brave I can see that you're being very brave you're embracing this uncom uncomfortable very very uncomfortable period of time you're embracing this change you're releasing a lot you're doing um a lot of this is personal this has been such a personal journey for you and you might at moments feel like oh my gosh like where am I but you're going to get there okay because there's there's lots of hints that you're going to be receiving more uh but right now it's just like that kind of confusing time but yeah you've you've you're you're on the right track here and I think you're going to see signs of abundance coming very soon so let's check out your charms. We'll do your pendulum. Uh, let's see. 
I took a before picture of all of the, uh, or videos of my mess in this tarot room. So once it's clean, I'm going to take an after picture and post it on my Patreon, um, because it was just a mess in <laughs> here. Okay. interesting is you I was feeling you are a secretive person but you're also very trusting so once you trust someone you trust them like once you know you can trust someone I'm feeling like you know at times it might take you a little while to like share your secrets but you're so open and inviting for other people and, and you're a really great person to talk to and you're compassionate you're understanding people tend to open up to you I think a lot with their secrets with everything I'm seeing with the even the moon card, you know, the queen of cups, the page of cups, uh, you know, so I really, I feel like you are, are someone, people are just naturally gravi gravitated towards uh, to open up to. Okay, so let's look at these charms, look at you a few numbers. You got, oh, 212, so double number, 12, 12, and 5. Okay, so let's start when <laughs> and you've got the clock there the clock reminds me of the white rabbit on your one card so i was remember how i mentioned like alice in wonderland so that's making me think of the pocket watch from alice in wonderland so i feel like i'm trying to think of like themes of, of that movie like confusion and feeling like you don't know where you are and you don't know what direction things are going and everything's just like unusual and mysterious and and you know so I think that that makes a lot of sense just with like that whole that whole comparison there so you've got the B the B could represent a few different things it could just represent you you're busy right now but i'm thinking of it as like sweet results because there's one card i have with a b on it it says sweet results await and you did have those raspberries there so i think i'm thinking of sweet results i'm also thinking of like pollinating pollination uh so growth because you've got a lot of like flowers as well like a lot of your cards had people holding flowers so you've got your be open to receiving was holding flowers and also your where did that go one second oh yeah your moon card was holding flowers so you've got a lot about like flowers pollination bee sweet results uh and that also could be sometimes with bees i think of teamwork collaboration you know so that could be a theme right now in your life as well now you've got this little uh, snow globe. I was thinking of, I always think of this as like two of ones. I think of planning for the future, looking ahead. I feel like you've already done that though. So I feel like this is more so just a reminder of maybe where you're going. Like dreaming. I'm thinking of the movie, The Santa Claus, actually. Uh, Charlie looks at the snow globe. It's just like a magical sort of, uh, you know, oracle almost. Then you've got the little fishing fishing hook there. The fishing hook to me sort of feels like you might be in that time like, because you've got a lot about mention of time here. So you might be sort of in that that time where you're like, is this am I is this going to happen? Am I going to you've also got a fish there, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting too. Sorry, I'm like really looking into this today. Because this one is very much exactly what we've been talking about, sort of the in-between. You're not where you came from. You're not in your future destination yet. You're in this very kind of scary in-between, like what, what the hell's happening sort of, you know, period of time. Interesting with these two as well. I'm wondering, because the fish is like not anywhere now where this could, you know, catch them maybe you left a situation too that was like just leaving somewhere where, where you you knew intuitively you didn't want to go that kind of thing or this change it's putting you in a better position 
something there, you know, there's something there. Like you were able, like you avoided uh, something happening, a change happening, avoided as uncomfortable as it is. Like there was, a, there was something you, you were able to avoid. You've got, yeah, you've got so much about time here. You've got the clock, time. This makes me think of having to be patient. You've got the teddy bear, which is comfort. Because you have secret and you have this one, which to me is about like connection, friendship, community, and you've got the B right now, uh, be open to receiving. <laughs> you know, of course, be open to receiving. This is your turn to ask and to receive, okay? Because here's the thing, with your six of pentacles, sometimes we're in a position to give and other times we need to receive. And I feel like you've been you've been on the side of giving a lot. So right now, maybe allow yourself to receive guilt free. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's your turn to receive. Uh, you know, and maybe that means needing to prioritize your mental health more. Uh, seek out you know someone to talk to, for example, for one of you. Maybe for you, it's setting boundaries and like maybe if there's someone that constantly you know, my gosh, this just happened. You have to talk to me about this. Or you might need to to set some boundaries. Be like, this is one thing you can do. Say, I can talk to you about this for 30 minutes, but then I've got to go. I've got something I've got to go to. Then, you know, you've sort of set this time. Just as an example, right? Because everyone's situation is going to be different. So if you're, if you're dealing with that, it's okay to preserve your, your, your space. Oh. Okay, you definitely seem to have gotten out of like a repetitive sort of uh, cycle. Like it's a lot about like cycling, repetitive cycle. Right now, I think feels too very chaotic. You've got the knight here. You've also got the saddle. And with your step up and lead, like there's so much about like movement, new directions. This, this one can, to me, sometimes make me think of trying again, trying something again. You've got the Little Mermaid here, and I'm just thinking of like a whole new world, a whole new, I'm thinking of the movie actually, so a whole new world, which I'm so excited for the live action. I can't wait, I can't, I cannot wait. I think it's this summer, off topic, sorry, and then the Barbie movies, movies coming out, I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm thinking of like a whole new world. Oh my gosh. Okay, you've got the message in the bottle, which usually just indicates a message floating in. We don't know what it is yet. Is it a map? Is it directions? Is it a message? Is it... We don't know. That's the fun part of that charm. We don't know, but it's floating in. It's on its way in, so be open to receiving it once it arrives. Very cool. And again, your numbers are 12, 12, 5. So let's do your pendulum and your letters. And I'm really happy that I added this one on because it's so funny. I just felt I just felt the need to. So let's do the pendulum first. You can think of a yes or no question. You got it for sure. So take what resonates. Look at the reading as a whole. Um, you know. Have fun with it. That's the important thing. Okay, let's look at your your emotions, your softness, your caringness is a strength, not a weakness. I just felt the need to say that. Like your compassion, sometimes in life, um, we're made to feel like softness is a weakness but it's not it's a strength um, but at the same time i feel like you are uh leading with your step up and lead you're leading and taking setting boundaries where you need to it doesn't mean you're not being caring when you have to do that okay i do think you avoided a situation okay let's go with the the fishing hook and then the fish i think you with this Eight of Cups energy, like, 
a direction you were going definitely wasn't ideal. So you made this change. You, you were very brave to make a particular change for yourself. So let me know what you see. I really hope that you enjoyed this. And yeah, we will see you next time. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm trying to, well, I've been uploading more lately just because I, I didn't upload much for a year, honestly. I, I didn't have, didn't feel great um, all year. I just found it hard to sort of keep up. So uh, I've just been inspired lately and feeling more like myself. So I've been enjoying it. So if you've been enjoying this too, definitely subscribe, uh, check out my other videos, and yeah, we will see you next time.